can't protest social justice, all right? We cannot mention Black Lives Matter. We cannot uh, wear swim caps for our natural hair. So it's obvious they are protesting black people. It's obvious they don't want us participating in the old game because we know we're going to smoke their boots. They already know that. They already know that. So I don't see what the huge benefit is in standing up and and making a big fuss about, oh, they not going to let us, they ain't letting the, they know what they doing. It's intentional. It's intentional, bro. Everything is being done is by design. It is strategically being done. So ain't no use in saying, oh, that's not fair. That's not right. They know that, bro. They already know it ain't right. They already know it ain't fair. So the question is, what shall be the consequence? What are we going to do about it? As far as the young lady, Shikari, look, let me tell you one thing, sweetheart. You already shit to us, man. You ain't got to prove nothing to us. We already know what you're going to do when you get out there because we know what you made of. So don't let that get you down, man. Don't let that man, don't hang your head, not for one fraction of a second. You hear me? Man, and all of us, man, within the culture, in solidarity and in support of Shikari, man, we shouldn't fuck that, period. Let them get the record lows of the uh, viewership that they looking for. And then, you know what I'm saying, we'll come back to the table and figure it out then. But if there's no consequence, ain't no correction. Now, if you think back now, I don't remember which Olympics it was, but I remember the white boy Michael Phelps, the swimmer. He tested positive for marijuana. He went on, continued to swim in all his categories. And he won, I think, five gold medals. Broke records. And the laws hadn't even been relaxed and, you know, hadn't even uh, gotten to 